Vicky, we're here with Terence J himself, Mr. Hollywood. Mr. Hollywood. Mr. Hollywood, of course you are. They're called a lot of things. That's a new one. I'll take it. <laughs> what are you doing here in the UK? Uh, Stephen paid me a lot of money. Yeah. Thank you, Stephen. Um, so we're having a great time, man. Yeah. I'm hosting a party tonight and um, just, you know, ripping and running in the city. Uh, this is my first time actually in London, oddly enough. And um, I, I went to Ireland for a couple of days, went to Scotland for a couple of days, and now I'm going to spend the holiday uh, the new year here. Yeah. What have you done so far? Uh, I got cursed out by a mean cab driver. Uh, I just got kicked out of a hotel. Uh, yeah, just, oh no! Yeah, I've been beat up since I've been here in London. That's um, an awful experience. Yeah, it's so fun. Yeah, it's not like that. that. Tough so far. No. Um, I had a great dinner last night um, yeah. at the hotel and uh, we went out and just kind of hit a couple bars up. And um, I'm excited, man. I'm going on a tour. I'm going to see Buckingham Palace tomorrow Incredible. and uh, go to the art museum. And uh, I love it. I love history. I love culture. And uh, I'm, I'm so excited to be here. I wanted to come here for so long. So, nice, nice. Um, so tonight is the Stylish Night Party. Mm -hmm. But with Stylish Nights, we're also about encouraging individuality in style. And you definitely have your own swag. Okay. In I'll terms of, yeah, take it. In terms of your career, you have a sophisticated, sweet, you know, street. Is that something that was done consciously throughout your career? Uh, you know, I, I don't know, man. I, I think um, at a certain point in my career, I just started being myself. And, and whatever came natural to me, I just started doing. And um, I found a lane, you know? Everybody wanted to be tough for so long. Everybody wants to shoot people and be a gangster. And um, I don't, you know, I, I don't get into all of that. I, I, I like to, you know, be nice to people and treat people with respect. And um, it's really helped me in my career. And now it's kind of reversed. Now that's the cool thing to do. So yeah. I'm kind of, I'm on the forefront of, of being a nerd. So it's I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying myself, yeah. Nice. So. I have to ask, you've been in the limelight for a long time, so you've got a lot of attention from the ladies. How has it been? And what's the craziest girl fan experience you've had? Uh, you know what, man? <laughs> Getting Jennifer Lopez to leave me I'll alone. Stop yeah, with she keeps on, she keeps on <laughs> texting me, and it's t it's really tough, you know, <laughs> to having her throw her panties at me every time I see her. That's probably the weirdest thing. Yeah. Um, you know what, man? I, I think it comes with maturity. When I was uh, a, a really young man, you know, you would I dated a lot and had a lot of fun. Now I. I don't do as much, man. I'm, I'm dating one girl. I stay oh. out of trouble. You know, I, I like to, you know, just stay quiet, and go home, and, and watch Luther on Netflix, and uh, just relax. You know. Who is she? What does she look like? I'm, I don't. I'm not talking <laughs> about her to, on these blogs, all right? Of course, I, but I don't we want wanna the, know. I don't want the London guys to come looking for her. So uh, I'm not talking about her on this blog site, all right? Yeah, Stephen didn't pay me enough for all that. Uh, okay, all right, but. But we have to talk about being stylish because we are promoting stylish nights and we're encouraging people to take part in our movement and that's being individual in your own stuff. In terms of, how would you describe your stuff? Um, uh, how would I describe my style? Um, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I get, uh, you know, I don't even, I don't know. I mean, I guess a, a, a hybrid between, you know, urban and, and sophisticated. Um, I wear suits a lot, so, uh, on my job, and so for me, to be able to, you know, wear a white t-shirt on my off days is really important. I love sneakers, so I guess I'm, I'm a sneaker head at heart, so I always gotta have a fresh pair of sneakers. And, um, you know, in LA, we don't get to wear a lot of um, coats and, and jackets, so whenever I can come to like a London and, and kind of step it up with, with jackets, I have a lot of fun with that. Yeah, yeah. London is very stylish. Yeah, very stylish. Oh, I'm, I'm fitting in. I don't know if I'm at the box. I should put my chain on or something. That's it. I'll put my grill in. Terrence, you are an actor, you've been a DJ, a model, but now you are an entrepreneur. James is Entertainment Group. Yeah. Tell us about that. You know, for tax purposes, you have to start, you have to call, you have to create your own LLC. Okay. So it's really, yeah, it's really just, my, my company is, um, it's really, the, the nucleus of it is all entertainment. And, okay. um, and I'm starting to get into other investments, but it's all entertainment. It's the, it's the acting in the films. I'm producing uh, my first film at the top of this year. So I'm really excited uh, about that. Uh, Queen Latifah's production company called Flavor Unit. Okay. And, um, yeah, it's a, it's a really fun romantic comedy. 
So uh, yeah, we're putting in the, the final touches on the script. But, but no, I was talking about what Who's we your dear boy? Who's your, where's your boyfriend at? Asking all the questions. What's he up to? Well, I'm waiting for you to hook me up, Darren. He plays soccer for the. Uh, he plays football. I wish. Huh? No, what happened? What's, up, what's wrong with your dating life out here? It's just. Christmas, it's dry. It's oh, a dry season. Come to America. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll take you to Greystone. I'm going to hold you to that. All right, I got I really you. Am. All right, you, have to do the, you have to do the scanning, the weeding, because I haven't got time for the weeding. The weed? I don't, we, the see, weed. I don't do any weed. You're trying to hook me on drugs, and I just, I just <laughs> I landed. I said weed.